beautiful day out this morning. I was able to take my little guy on a walk. I'm just feeling the love in general. So I thought, what better day than today to crack open the Valentine's Day pink Ota Kid by Sank Toys. You can see on the side here, it's signed number one of 88 for this run. Surprisingly, there are still some in stock over at Strange Cat Toys where I got it. There's a little designator to let you know it's gonna be pink. Nothing on the bottom. And yeah, this is my first Otakid, the son of Otaku. So let's crack it open and take a look. The, uh, the Otakid doesn't seem to get as much love as the, uh, the main Sank, like Little Sank and the other giant resin figures that have been made by Sank Toys. We've got three pieces in the box. Already I can see, just like when I opened up the, uh, the pink Valentine's Little Sank, it's bigger than I expected. The pictures just do it no love on the size. So all together we have three pieces. We have the Oda Kid himself, his helmet, and then we have the mini Game Boy. So let's start with the figure itself. So it's bubble wrapped and then it's in a bag. These are Sofubi. And there is the son of Otaku. Right there. He has tattoos on his chest, a heart on his leg, hearts, oh, a heart and a kiss. One on each cheek there. Super, super schmaltzy. Flower in the hair. And there is like a gradient to the pink on the body as well. Oh, the arms. So you have a heart on this arm. And it says, a flat, there's a flower and it says you on that one. And love on the foot. So all together, this little Oda Kid loves you. You see the Sank and Oda Kid. Stamped right there on the feet as well. Yeah, flowers all across the hair. Two of them in total. I do love the waves in the figure right there. And the quirky smile for the little Oda Kid. Arms do move, so it does articulate there from how they probably popped in. Feet do not. They look to be pretty well attached on the bottom of the piece there. Let's get him his helmet. This thing looks huge. There are many variations of the Oda Kid. And there are a couple others I'd really like. This one is very, very unique to the Valentine's Day motif. Similar to other Sank Toys stuff, like usually they have kind of a dark and gloomy and blue vibe to them. And this, not so much. This is totally out there. As you can see on the helmet, it has the screen. It's kind of like a Mac looking screen, to be honest. It has that plug on the back. You have the flowers on the ears, pixelated heart, Cupid's arrow up front, and then the giant opening and the tongue on the front. So we can pop the helmet on. Yeah, it kind of just rests in there really easy. You can see it kind of just slides in and out. So it's not like a permanent fixture. It just kind of hangs on the front there unless I'm doing something wrong. But no, kinda looks like it just floats around. Cute. And of course, the companion piece, it's interesting, it doesn't really balance well on its own. You have to get the helmet just right to make the actual figure balance. So this is the kitty cat Game Boy that goes with him. And this is a super cute figure just on its own, to be honest. See again, the pixelated heart, it is a straight up Game Boy. It says game on the back. Obviously Nintendo wouldn't be too happy if it said Game Boy, but we all know what it is. And the cute little plug tail there, tiny little feet. And you can see the gradient of the color going down from the top and then it's white towards the bottom and the white tail. You could move the tail around it looks like, if you so desired. Yeah, I left my Game Boy at my mom's house from many, many moons ago, and I went back to find it, and the batteries were all corroded and busted out the back. But yeah, no stampings on the bottom of this one, just on the main figure itself, but there we go. This is the 88-piece run of the pink Ota Kid, the Valentine's Day special from St. Toys. Let's give him a spin. Thanks for watching.